All right, so my question today comes from Justin. And Justin basically has the need for a low light camera. He is a comedian who shoots in bars, which obviously are gonna be low lit. Um, and just, you know, darker environments in general. And he's concerned about getting a camera that's gonna shoot well in that situation. Uh, obviously stabilization isn't a big deal to him because he's gonna be on a tripod. Um, he cares about the audio quality and maybe getting 4K too. And, uh, you know, if there's a mic that I can recommend, he would be thankful for that. And uh, he currently has a M50 or he had a M50 a few months ago, but he just, he just broke it and he prefers uh, something a little bit more reliable if it exists. So let's get into it and start talking about that. I had another video about this same topic a few years ago and um, that's what brought him to my channel. So now we're maybe two years into the future. So now the options for cameras are a little bit better. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about cameras that are right around $500 and lower that you might be able to use for this particular scenario. But I'm gonna start off by saying this, like I said in the last video, <clears throat> when you're in these low light scenarios, the best solution is always to use a little bit of light. But I can understand if you're in a bar or something and you might not be able to set a light stand up because it's just no space to set that up um, where you're performing. But if there is, I would definitely recommend just getting like one light stand and a, a really basic light, um, an LED that's battery powered, just to just to point one little light at the stage where you're performing. That's gonna help the, the look and the quality of your video just it's gonna help it tremendously. So that's the first thing you're gonna to wanna to try, regardless of what camera you use. I don't care how good it is in, in low light, they all look better in some light. So not sunlight, but some light. And matter of fact, they all look really great in sunlight, but that's not your situation. All right, so let's get this started. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna lay out a few of the cameras in, in really no particular or, order, but there's gonna be about five or six cameras that I'm gonna talk about. And I'm gonna end it with kind of my favorite option at the very end, so stay tuned for that. So to start it off with, if we're talking low light, you know you gotta talk about the Sony A7S Mark I. Because that was the camera that started the whole low light camera thing to begin with. That was the low light king like seven years ago, whatever it was. So now, being that we're, in 2022, you can find that camera used, if you're lucky, for anywhere from like 450 to maybe like $700, depending on what it's coming with and where you're buying it from. But what you gotta keep in mind about a camera like that is it's a full frame camera. Great in low light, but then you need full frame lenses. And those are not cheap. So that's gonna bring your price up a little bit. Now there are some you know, lower end uh, full frame lenses for the Sony. So you might be able to find like a good deal on a cheaper lens, but still, it might cost you a little bit more. But you can shoot in, you know, full HD, 1080p, I think up to 60 frames per second internally to an SD card on that camera. And if you want to shoot 4K, because you mentioned 4K, you can on that camera, but you got to do it externally to a video recorder. So you would need to run out the HDMI port to something like an Atomos Ninja. To, to, to get the 4K resolution, which is for what you're doing, I think, kind of silly. Next on the list is going to be the Panasonic G7. Way less money than the A7S. Uh, a little bit newer as well, if I'm not mistaken. It's Micro Four Thirds camera. So a little, the, the sensor that's capturing the, the image and the lights is a little smaller. So it's not gonna perform as well in low light scenarios but it's still not bad. It's gonna do way better than uh, like your phone, let's say, but it's it's not as good as an A7S. Uh, but it's way less money. Uh, you could probably get it used for like $300, $350, get it with the lens included or a couple of lenses, you might be spending $500, which is right around your budget. Um, I believe that's your budget. So that's a pretty decent option. And I forgot to mention, the G7 has no record limits where the Sony a7S does have record limits if you're not recording to an external recorder and to a card. 
there are record limits. So you're gonna have that 30 minute record limit where the G7 does not have that if you're shooting in 1080. Only has it if you're shooting in 4K. So there's that as well. Now, next, these cameras I'm gonna kind of lump together because they're all very similar. And that's going to be like the Canon T3i, T4i, T5i, and even the Canon 70D. Um, all of these cameras are gonna give you the same type of image quality. They all can shoot in 1080p, and they all have a flip screen that flips out and flips towards you, just like the Panasonic G7 also. The, uh, the Sony A7S does not. It has a screen that can tilt up and down, but it can't tilt all the way up so you can see yourself, just so you know. But uh, the G7 and all the cameras I just mentioned have screens that flip out and flip towards you so you can see yourself as you're shooting, which is also a plus. And uh, the Canon T3i, T4i, T5i, you're gonna find those cameras used for anywhere from like 250 to maybe $400. So they're writing the price budget of around 500 bucks. Um, a lot of times you're finding them with lenses too. And uh, you still be like in your price bracket. So, you know, it's a good value camera and pretty decent low light performance. And of course, everything that I'm talking about, I'm gonna put links down below to all of these cameras. So anybody out there, you can go check them out. There'll be eBay links because a lot of these you can't get new anymore. So except for that Panasonic G7, you can still buy that new. That I think brand new is, uh, I wanna say it's 450 or $500, 550, I don't remember. But you can buy the G7 brand new if you want. I believe they still manufacture it new, but I would just buy it used because there's a ton of them out there and you'll save a lot of money. So that's just me. Um, <clears throat> you, all, you already own the M50, but that's, you said you didn't like the quality of it or whatever, the, the maybe the, the physical quality of it, that it, it broke easily. Um, I owned that camera for maybe two years, use it a lot for these YouTube videos. I thought it was a good camera. So, I mean, that's still an option if you just wanna buy that again. So we're coming up to that last final option after this one, so just hold on. But before I get to that last one, the Panasonic V770. That is a camcorder, it's not a mirrorless camera. Like all of the ones I just mentioned are mirrorless cameras. Um, you know, similar. And you already know because you had an M50, but for the people out there that don't know, you know, similar to this, it looks like a camera camera, skills camera that you take pictures with, but they all shoot very good video. Except for this one that I just mentioned, this is the 770. Panasonic V770 is a camcorder, which should run you new around $600. If you were buying a used, you can find it for about 350. Um, this is gonna have a smaller sensor in it than any of the cameras I just mentioned. So the low light performance is not gonna be as good, but it's okay. It should, be, it should be okay in your situation, but it's not gonna be great. But I imagine if you're a comedian on stage, there's usually lights on you, right? There's probably some type of light shining on you. So it might do okay uh, in that situation, something to try. Uh, the nice thing about a camcorder, there are no record limits. It has a mic jack on it, has a headphone jack on it too, which I think every other camera I mentioned so far does not have a headphone jack. This camcorder does, so you can monitor the audio real quick to make sure things sound good. Put your headphones down, go on stage or whatever. I don't know, Just, you know, do a sound check or whatever. Also, it comes with a power adapter so you can plug it into the wall. So if you're close to a wall, you can plug it in. You don't have to worry about batteries dying. It's gonna work the whole time. <clears throat> but even besides that, I got some drink. I get real hoarse when I do these. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so what the hell was I saying? Oh, and the fact that the battery that it comes with is only good for, I think, like around an hour, maybe a little bit more. Very similar to what you're going to get in any of the mirrorless cameras I mentioned. They're all around an hour, hour and a half but you can buy uh, extended batteries for the camcorder that will probably get you more like three hours of record time. That's one of the nice thing about the camcorders because they're not, it's not a battery that's physically made to fit inside the camera. It just kind of hangs out the back of the camera like this one. You see this, 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 this is not the 770. This is actually a Panasonic camera too, but it's not the 770. But you see these batteries because it just kind of hangs out the back. When you buy the aftermarket ones, you could buy bigger ones you can buy bigger ones that just have more capacity to them. And now 
and now you're recording for two, three, four hours. And if you're curious about this one, I'm not mentioning this one to you because it's kind of expensive. It does shoot 4K, it's the WX991, um, but used, you're probably gonna find it for like $500. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, maybe you could, yeah, yeah, maybe I should mention this one, right? Yeah, you might. So like brand new, this is like $800. If you are lucky, you might find this one for, for something like, you know, $500, $600. Um, this is similar to that 770, except it can shoot in 4K. So you do get that additional feature with this one. So, you know, the WX991 or even the Panasonic VX1, which is very similar to this one. Uh, it's pretty much the same as that camera with 4K on it. Except it's missing like this stupid little camera that's on the... They put like a little camera on this. So you can shoot yourself while you're shooting. It's... I'm not even gonna explain how it works. It's, it's really stupid and, and, and really does serve no purpose, but um, it's on there. Now here's the final option that I was talking about. It could be your best option, in my opinion. It could be your best. I got one in my pocket. It's your phone. It's your phone. And you're like, oh, I don't wanna use my phone, but no, 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 no. These days, these phones are so good. I mean, this is the Samsung S21. And of course I got one of those, the deals where it, it has like the three cameras on it or whatever. So with that, you know, you can shoot wide, you can shoot a little closer and then you can shoot really close. So you basically have three focal lengths. So if you're on stage, you can, depending on how big the room is, you can pick whatever lens you need. So that's an option. And then you, you know, you can put it in something like this I did a review about this years and years ago. This is a Yulanzi camera rig or something. I don't know what it's called, but it's made by Yulanzi. I'll put all the links down below. But you know, you just kind of put your phone in there and you can, you can mount it this way. So you could do, um, you know, you could do vertical video or you could do uh, horizontal video. And then it gives you these ports at the top, these cold shoe mounts. So then you could mount a microphone because you did ask about audio and we're going to get into that right now. But if you were doing like wireless audio, then you have your phone in there and then you can mount your uh, audio pack onto this and then plug it into your camera. I mean, into your phone. But then you're also, because now these newer phones, whether you have Android or you have uh, Apple, you know, you're gonna need an adapter to allow you to get microphones in there. Let me get my face out of there so it actually focuses. So you need an adapter. I'll put all this stuff down below, depending on what phone you need or what you have, you'll, you'll need a different adapter. This is USB-C to 3.5 millimeter. And if you have a, an Apple product, then you'll need the, uh, whatever the Apple connector is called to, to 3.5. All right, so that's about it. I'm gonna cut this video just a little bit short. So we, we're, en we're ending with the cameras. I'll do a separate video talking about the audio that's coming up next. Make sure you subscribe to see that. Hopefully you find that helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you did. Anybody else out there, can you help him out? What cameras are you thinking for that price range? $500, maybe even a little less, $300, you know, $250, $350. What cameras are you guys thinking about that will, will work well for shooting in a low lit bar? You know, let's help Justin out with some uh, recommendations. As always, I'm Mike Turner. Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you soon.